Hi hey friends, this week's science experiment, we're going to do two different types of crystals. So the first one we're going to do is borax crystals. Now, all you need for this is borax, pipe cleaners, string, popsicle sticks, a jar or glass, and if you want to, food coloring, and boiling water. Now, we're going to bend a pipe cleaner into a different shape. So I did a heart. You guys can see it. And we're going to tie it to the craft string, which I've already done. And you need to make sure that your shape is small enough so that you can put it in the jar and still have space on the sides to pull it out when the crystal grows. So we have to fill the jar with boiling water. And then you're going to take a third a cup of borax and put it in there and you're going to stir it until it's dissolved. Okay. So then you're going to add a couple drops of food coloring. Then, you're going to put your pipe cleaner in until it's fully immersed. So now we're going to leave this uh, overnight and in the morning we'll come back and see what it looks like. Okay, for our second crystal, we're going to make salt crystals. Now what you need for this is Epsom salt, a glass jar, Food coloring is optional, hot tap water, a bowl or glass measuring cup, a spoon, a small pebble or some sand, and a microwave. So we're going to be using a one-to-one -one ratio of water to Epsom salt. So if you use one cup of water, you need one cup of salt. Two cups of water, two cups of salt, and so on. So you heat the water in the microwave for 45 seconds. Don't overheat the water or else your crystals will not come out. So we're going to add the water to the jar. And you add the food coloring at this step before you put the salt in. And I'm going to see if I can pour this salt in without spilling it all over the place. Nope. Now it is very important to stir for at least one to two minutes. If there's still salt on the bottom after the end of the one to two minute mark, that's fine. But you need to stir for at least one to two minutes. Okay, it's been about a minute and a half, almost two minutes. So the reason that you need to do that long is so that the water gets super saturated with the salt and it helps the crystals to grow. So now after you've stirred your salt water, you put in your pebble or a few grains of sand because the salt crystals need something to grow on. That's why you do the pebble. I'm going to try and put mine kind of in the middle. Okay. So now I'm going to go put this in our freezer here at the library. And it helps if you put it in the freezer for 10 minutes and then you put it in the fridge. It'll help the crystals grow faster and it'll keep them more solid. A um, couple things. It's easier if you let them grow overnight in the fridge. That way they don't get disturbed at all. Um, and don't let them sit in the water at room temperature or else your crystals are going to disappear. So I'm going to go put this in the freezer and then in the fridge and then we'll come back later and see if any crystals grew.